Oh, I love these. Okay, I'm about to show you the most satisfying thing in the world. Okay, so I haven't shot photos for a while, or at least that's what it feels like, because my last photo shoot was two weeks ago, and that feels like forever. So that's why I'm here today, in the middle of nowhere, in a field, waiting for my model. I haven't even thought out like a proper idea. I just made a little mood board and that's it. So that's my starting point for today's photo shoot. I just, how do you say that? Re, re spark that spark in me for photography because I love doing what I'm doing, but when I'm sitting still for too long, yeah, I end up not shooting at all. So I'm happy to be here. So I think where we are right now is the perfect location to make my mood board happen. We have to wait for a model anyway. So I'll quickly tell you how I actually found her. A couple months ago, I went to a fashion event here in Melbourne and she just stood out from the crowd. She was wearing a massive dress and I just walked up to her, asked for her Instagram and asked if she wanted to do a photo shoot. So here we are today. So if you're wondering, this photo shoot I'm doing is not paid. I'm not paying the model, but she's also not paying me because this is a TFP photo shoot. Maybe it rings a bell already, but that means test for photos. So she gives me her time and her expertise as a model and I give her photos in return. And then something that I find very important as well is since the model is investing her time into this photo shoot, is just ask her what makeup she prefers, how she likes to wear her hair, and I just give a rough idea of the outfit I wanna go for. So I feel like it's very much appreciated when you find common ground in that sense. Ooh, and pro tip actually, is I always rock up earlier to the shoot location so I can do some scouting, see which angles I like, what would be a cool photo, and that way I'm prepared. Because especially when you're battling the sunset, that only lasts for a little bit. Okay, so for gear, I brought a couple things. I'm gonna be shooting with the Canon R6. With the big, massive 85mm f1.4. I've also brought the 50mm f1.4. So my aim is to get a nice and versatile set of photos with different focal lengths. I feel like I blend in with the scenery with my sweater. I'm just gonna put this thing on, it looks really weird. <laughs> but I put my iPhone on here. Oh, cool! And that way I film point of view so you can exactly see what I'm shooting. Maybe we can try sort of laying on your back. Yep. I'll stand from here and yep. just look into the camera. Yeah, wow, so dreamy. <laughs> Love it. Could you reach with your right hand like sort of? Yeah, nice. I'm sure you hear that a lot, but you look a little bit like um, Megan Fox. Once or twice. Yeah. Not often. Not it's often. like certain faces. I'm like, yeah. Okay, I'm about to show you the most satisfying thing in the world. My camera bag. I love it when it's super organized. Everything has its own spot. This is my new camera bag. It's the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Pack. Gonna come a little bit closer. <laughs> I'm just gonna swap lenses yep. and I sort of wanna do the same thing we were doing, but just yep. with a different focal length. Okay. Just shot with the 85, now I wanna switch to the 50. I'm gonna stand exactly above you. Yep. Normally I'm not the biggest fan of greens, but in the editing I can make it like that sort of orangey, oh, I love dried that. out. Because yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it's just too, too great. great. <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, these are amazing. Last time, because I did a shoot as a model here as well a couple weeks ago, that's how I found this spot. Oh. A little trick when I work with mood boards is I place the mood board as my background on my home screen. That way I can just have easy access to the mood board, see what shot I want to get next. It saves you a lot of time. Maybe try one of these? Yes, yes. Nice. It's 
so beautiful with the colors. Yeah, these are great. Looks so relaxed. I love that one. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we can try your fur coat now. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. Wow, beautiful. I think we got it. Yeah. Nice. nice. Thank you. No, oh. And we are back in my trusty little office. I hope that you can take away from this video that you don't need the craziest photo locations to make a photo shoot work. It is sometimes just about getting... I'm like midway telling something that comes from my heart and we get disturbed. It is about getting started, putting yourself out there, picking up that camera again. When it came down to the editing of these photos, I really wanted to go for that sort of movie, filmish look. So I decided to use my Lightroom presets. And then specifically the preset called Stills. By one simple click, I slept on the preset and then I just did some minor adjustments like brightening up the eyes, retouching the skin a little bit and adding some masks to really make the model stand out in my photos. And that is it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye! Doei!